What's up, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to this episode of Undercover Vikings. And as promised, today I will tell you the story of Ragnar's second wife by the name of Thora. Now, if you've read up on her, then this should be an interesting watch for you. And if you haven't read on her, then this should be an even more interesting watch for you. So I hope you enjoy this story, and feel free to share it, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thora looked upon the face of her father with anticipation in her eyes. Earl Herod of Jotaland had promised her a gift. As a noble woman, she thrived and enjoyed anything given to her by her father. Something was in his callous hands, and it moved. Opening his palm, Thora set her eyes upon a lintworm. It was small in size, but with its scaly skin and dragon-like head, it was hard to miss. For my daughter, he said. Thora, again grateful for anything she received, accepted the gift and kept it well. The lensworm grew in size ten times longer from whence it came. The serpent-like creature, fond of its mistress, guarded her door day and night. When her father, Earl Hurd, noticed this, he set out a challenge. To the man who slays this serpent, my daughter shall be his in marriage. News traveled far and quickly and met none other than the ear of Ragnar, a leader in the Viking community. Never one to shy away from a challenge, Ragnar set out on his conquest. Traveling to Vasta Yodoland, Ragnar dressed himself in hairy breeches and treated it with tar and sand. With spear and shield in hand, he made his way to the serpent. Being approached, the serpent was quick to defend its territory by spewing poison at Ragnar, who guarded himself with his shield and clothes. Without a second notice, he lunged forward and cast his spear straight into the heart of the massive creature. The serpent fell hard upon the ground and slap! His head rolled away from his body. The spear had cut it off by the hand of Ragnar. Thor was free at last, and as promised, now the interesting thing is that Lagatha and Ragnar were actually married at this time, but he was still upset with her for setting the beast upon him. Do you remember that story that little Bjorn was talking with his father about? Yeah, that one, about the bear? Well, in turn, he ends up divorcing Lagatha so that he could marry Thora. Now Thora does end up dying from an unknown illness, but prior to her death, they actually had two sons together which I'm going to include in the next story that I share with you guys. And also, Aslog makes an appearance then because she happens to be his third wife. So for all of you out there who have such anger towards Aslog for breaking up Lagatha and Ragnar, in true saga form, she actually didn't do that. Ragnar actually ends up leaving Lagatha so that he can marry not Aslog, but Thora, and not to bear children just because he was mad at her. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story, and I hope you that you join me next time. Don't forget to share this with some of your Viking friends who are actually waiting for the series to come out too, because they might enjoy a little bit of entertainment themselves. See you next time.